Hello children, today in this video we are going to do the question 7th onwards. Question number 6th is not there in your syllabus. So children, 7th question is the weight of 56 books is 8 kg. What is the weight of 154 such books? Now children, weight of 56 books is given to you. So weight of 56 books is how many? How much? 8 kg. So what will be the weight of one book? Weight of one book will be 8 by 56. And how, how many books weight we have to calculate? 154. So weight of 154 books is equals to 8 by 56 into 154. So we can cancel it with a table of 2 we can cancel. With a table of 2 we have cancelled this and then with a table of this of, uh, 7 we have cancelled. So in the last we will get 22 kg. Next children, how many such books weigh 5 kg? So number of books weighing 8 kg. How many books are there whose weight is 8 kg? 56 books. So number of books weighing 8 kg is equal to 56. Number of books weighing 1 kg, it is equal to 56 by 8. And number of books weighing 5 kg, it will be 56 by 8 into 5. So when you will cancel it with the table of 8, you will get 7 over here. 7 fives, 35 books will be your answer. Question number 8 children. John types 450 words in half an hour. Half an hour means 30 minutes. So here only you can write half an hour means 30 minutes. So John types 450 words in 30 minutes. How many words would he type in 7 minutes? So number of words typed in 30 minutes 450. Number of words typed in 1 minute 450 by 30. Next, number of words typed in 7 minutes, 450 by 30 into 7. 0 can be cancelled with 0, 3 ones are 3, 3 15 is 45 and 15 into 7 is 105 words. Next children, all these are in direct proportion children, number of words it will increase if the time will be increased. So it is a direct proportion. Question number 9, a worker is paid rupees 750 for 6 days work. If he is working for 6 days, how many money he is getting? 750. If he works for 23 days, how many? How much will he get? So children, again, if the number of days will increase, money will be increasing. So money paid for 6 days, how many? 750. Money paid for 1 day? 750 by 6. And money paid for 23 days? 750 by 6 into 23. This you can cancel with a table of 6. 6 1 is a 6. 6 1 25 is a 750. You can also divide 750 by 6 in the rough work. You will get 125. So 125 into 23, 2875. This much rupees they will get for 23 days. Next children, a water tank can be filled in 7 hours by 5 equal sized pumps working together. If 5 pumps are working together, they can fill the tank in 7 hours. How much time will 7 pumps take to fill it up? Now children, this question is different because it is of inverse proportion. If the number of pumps will increase, time will decrease. So it is inverse proportion. So in this question, time taken by 5 pumps, how much time they are taking? 7 hours. Time taken by one pump, because it is inverse proportion, we will not divide, we will multiply over here, 7 into 5. So time taken by how many pumps we have to calculate? 7 pumps. Time taken by 7 pumps is 7 by 7 into 5. 7 and 7 cancel, how many time they will take? 5 hours. Next question children, a car travels 228 kilometers in 3 hours. How long will it take to travel in 912 kilometers? So time taken to cover 228 kilometers? 3 hours. Time taken to cover 1 kilometer? 3 by 228. And time taken to cover 912 kilometers? It is 3 by 228 into 912. So you can cancel it with a table of 3 first and then with a table of 2 you can cancel it. And in the last, we can cancel it with a table of 19. So what we will get? 12 hours. Second part of the same question. How far it will travel in 7 hours? Now time is given to you. Distance we have to calculate. So distance covered in 3 hours. How much? 228. Distance covered in 1 hour? 228 by 3. 
and distance covered in 7 hours children 228 by 3 into 7 so cut it with a table of 3 you will get 532 kilometers last question of this exercise children 11th and 12th question are not there 6th 11th and 12th question are not there in your syllabus last question 7 men pack 336 parcels per day find the number of parcels packed by 15 men per day now number of parcels packed by 7 men is 336 and number of parcels packed by one man it is equals to 336 by 7 and number of parcels packed by 15 men it is equals to 336 by 7 into 15 with a table of 7 you can cancel it you will get 48 and 48 into 15 you can multiply which is equals to 720 parcels so children by this we have completed our 7th chapter in the next video we will start with the next chapter thank you children do it in your notebook thank you children